Everyone hates Tesla. Elon's an idiot. That's what people say. But we're going to break down a couple of videos and then we're going to get to the main video. So let's first see this. Now, most people are already talking about Tesla doesn't deliver. Tesla's new wireless portable charger might be the best portable charger on the market. Apple and etc. better take note. Now, let's check out this charger real quick. I just got Tesla's new wireless portable charger, and I just wanted to do a quick unboxing. I had the prior generation of this, which was a fine little device. Uh, my dog actually ended up chewing it up, uh, but it did not have MagSafe uh, kind of alignment, so my phone always slipped off of it. It looks like this one comes with about 50% of a charge out of the box. There's a USB-C inlet, uh, what appears to be a USB-C outlet cable. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Yep, there we go. All right, there's a USB-C outlet there and uh, docks for two devices. So I think I can charge my headphones, my AirPod headphones down here. Let's see, maybe can we align it at all? Do I need to turn it on at all? Now uh, give them some time. Let's see. There we go. So the headphones are charging and my phone is charging are both. Now look at that. That's amazing, right? And you can have it in the up position so you can watch a movie while you eat. Like, that's pretty dope. But uh, you can't lie about that. And it looks kind of sleek. Like, and this is just Tesla. This is just what we do. We do one-off products and just put them out on the internet. Charging. Yes, they are. And one of the best parts is when this is all folded up, you can charge it wirelessly as well. And there we go. It's charging. Yeah. So it, it, they have that portable one and then they have that fixed one right there that they sell. So you can go check that out. You can get that on the website. But I just think that's pretty cool. We do one-off projects and stuff like that. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. And don't expect the many details of the next Tesla event. Let's get more on Tesla's numbers with uh, Deepwater Asset Management's Gene Munster. Gene, good to have you with us. You think a, another model will be announced? I do, Melissa. I actually think there'll be three models. That cheaper model that uh, uh, we're just talking about, I think that they'll have a robo uh, van. We'll call that something that's way off. And then, the, of course, the robo taxi. So I'm going to this thinking we'll have three uh, models. I do agree with Phil that next week is going to probably be light on details. If you just look at the setup of the event, the number of people that will be there. This is not uh, analysts and investors with their laptops. This is uh, essentially a launch party. And so I don't think it's ever a bunch of analysts with their laptops at many of the Tesla events, but let's continue. You can imagine Elon getting up there uh, talking in kind of a very high level and not giving much substance around details. The one detail that I'm going to be hyper focused on is that cheaper $25,000 car when they expect to ramp production. And I just want to kind of um, put one thread through why this is important for next year is that the streets looking for growth to go from uh, essentially 7% in the most recent quarter to 12% next year to get to that 12%. You essentially need to have that cheaper model starting a ramp in the middle of the year. If you look at historically, the, the gap between when they announce a vehicle to when it actually becomes available would suggest it's going to be late in 25 or early 26. And so we could be shaping up for a little bit of an air pocket, still believe we're going to get back to growth. But I think investors should have their uh, kind of their eyes clearly on the timing of this new vehicle because it's going to impact delivery. I don't know if they're going to deliver the vehicle at the autonomous day. It's an autonomous day about the robo taxi. So I don't think that 25K car is going to be coming out because it's robo taxi. So again, but a lot of analysis or analysts allegedly, they don't know what they're talking about a lot of the times. It's a pretty old school. It's baked into revenues, it's baked into profits, it's baked into margins. And yeah, and you could see if that timing gets slipped. I'm a big believer in Tesla. I think that growth, uh, deliveries growth will ramp into the 20%, but I just think people should have a, a level head in terms of what 25 looks like. Gene, it's Tim. So again, our yeah, we're not quite sure on, on what they're going to actually unveil. We'll see. But anyways, let's continue. You know, we'll see when the day comes, which is pretty soon here. So I'm super excited for the event, but we don't know what he's going to unveil. The one thing I, I 
respect the most about Elon Musk, and he does more than anybody I've ever seen, and that is he goes all in. He doesn't just, you know, he takes every cent he has and he believes in it and he goes all mother in. He never hedges his bet at all. The one thing. That's facts. You know, Elon goes all in with his business at SpaceX. He goes all in with his business at Tesla. And we could just talk about those two primarily. And I think that's important. It's imperative that he actually put up or shut up. A lot of the wealth that Elon has is not even just liquid cash. It's all in his actual two companies, SpaceX and Tesla. Now, these are cops unveiling their cyber Tesla cars. And so Tesla vehicles, it's easy on management. You have a fleet, maintenance. I mean, this is going to be a good thing for the cops and the police department. Cut down on the fuel and it's more efficiency with fuel. So super happy to see that cops are taking on to the Tesla and it's an American-made car. So let's get it involved with a lot of public institutions. Like, come on, it's an American-made car, and it's made in America. It's the most American-made car. And I think whoever holds that billet as the most American-made car should get public contracts and get acquired by public entities. So yeah, that's just a simple bet, right? Whoever's the most main um, American made car in America should get the public contracts. And then this is very interesting. This goes down to people who say, Larry was talking about, you're saying Elon's an idiot. The guy is landing rockets and who are you? This is what I say a lot of times when people just have a lot of negativity to spill about Elon. It's like, first of all, who are you? I wanna, I'm gonna let him say it. Elon doesn't know what he's doing. So he's gonna have to go out for money. We're, I'm really smart. I'm a, I work for the Wall Street Journal. I know. And I said, who are you? And then also too, people who say that who don't work for the Wall Street Journal, these are just like normies, right? Like I twist doorknobs, I'm a carpenter, I'm a plumber. Hey, I'm a normie, I'm a software engineer. Like people say this that are just normies. This guy's landing rockets. You know, he's landing rockets on, on you know, robot, robot drone rafts in the ocean. And you're saying he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, who else is landing rockets? Do you ever land a rocket? Okay, okay, you're telling me he's an idiot. I just want to know who you are. So I know, why should I believe you as opposed to my friend? Why should I believe you? <laughs> I want to know who you are. Like, that's what I be said. Like, people in the comment section that say what you say, I want to know who you are. Like, tell me, identify yourself so I know who you are and know if you're competent, at least for your opinion to be taken into consideration for me. Like, he's an idiot. Okay, what are you then? Friend Elon, who, and we're out here watching this rocket land, and that, which I think is really cool. And you're there in front of your, you know, your Apple Macintosh and typing up an article saying Elon's an idiot. <laughs> I had to get that. Elon doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to have to go out for money. We're, I'm really smart. I'm a, I work for the Wall Street Journal. And I said, who are you? This <laughs> who are you? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's the funniest part. So guys call it Elon Musk an idiot or saying he doesn't know how to do this and that. I'm just like, bro. Who are you? If you can't identify yourself, if you're out here twisting doorknobs, if you're a carpenter, and there's no not to those professions, but for a guy who's launching reusable rockets on a raft drone out in the ocean, then I'm going to question you. Like, what are you doing to change the world? What are you inventing? What innovation? What factories are you building? What are you doing? Who are you? And if you're nobody, then you're just somebody who hates Tesla. I see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get this heat. Peace.